What is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club? Hopefully you guys all have an amazing Tuesday. We got a little bit of news to go over today, guys. If you guys haven't already done it, make sure you guys put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Daily News. Let's get to that news. First one is from Euro Agri He is currently working on the i4 Williams TT3621 electric tipper. This is a quick render of it. Looks really good, and I cannot wait for this to hit PC and consoles guys so there is that one right there next one is from modding fs this is the plowed toad bt2 and 3 of course for pc and consoles small plow but you know if you have that small farm uh, this would be perfect on there right there and of course it looks really good with the fiat right there next one nefg modding they are working on a case mx he had this to say kmn modding and i are bringing the case mx project back to life we're hoping to get this one out to consoles eventually i know a lot of people will be very happy to get case out there i'm hoping this case comes and of course steve mods this case comes that would be very nice uh we need more case in the game okay so there is those three right there next one is a big one guys and this is from mr lancy boy guess what guys the welcome to stone valley has been sent off to giants both the pc version and the consoles the pc version is the uh, farming agency edition which has, you know, the carrots, the onions, and all that good stuff and works with Maze Plus. The console version is the Times 2 version, but it does have alfalfa and rye on there. So that, that's awesome right there. Hopefully it gets into Giants testing and passes pretty quick. So they are in testing. So just got to be patient, guys. Got to be patient. Next one from Lancy Boy. He had this to say to Giants. He says, want to say a massive thank you to Giants for making me a partner. Thank you to everyone that supports my work. Lancy Boy. Uh, he definitely, definitely, definitely deserves this. A very awesome modder, very awesome guy. Uh, you know, he's actually been in a couple of our streams, and I've already told him anytime he wants to join us in streams, he is more than welcome to. So there is that one right there. Next one is from Sid Modding. He had this to put last night. Good night. And of course, he had to show off the John Deere 8RX. Like I said, it's not a FS Daily News video unless we have something from Sid Modding on there. So there is that one right there. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is, of course, the new mods that just got released not too long ago for all platforms, guys. We got the John Deere 540, well, W540. We got the Mozavlava farm, which is a Hungarian farm. We got Dablias 3. We got the Three Points Bull Bar. We got the GDR Hall. We got Decorative House. We got Barn Shed. We got silo facility and that is it on the new mods guys we also did get some updates the updates we got was for hagenstead which this update fixed the problems with the field helpers reviewed all points of sale and reduced sip file size and then we also got the season geo baltic sea update which what this did was weather sowing and harvesting times has been altered on that also also, they did not post this in, of course, you know, the mod hub, the regular mod hub, but we also did get another mod on consoles, which was the FarmTech TG28. So there is all the new mods. There is all the new updates. Uh, hopefully you guys do like these mods. Let me know what you guys think about them in the comments section below. Next one, guys, of course, we got that testing list. In testing on PC, we have the Case IH1255-1455 XL, Dark Forest, the John Deere 2100, Labach Galoth 70D24, Labach K150, Machine Building, Millennial Farms is in testing, guys. Wow, this is a really good week. You know, Stone Valley's been sent off, Millennial Farms. Wow, wow, wow. We also got the Pellet Storage House, Sapphire MES 500, SK5 Neva Pack, Slurry Shaft. And another big one, the Valley, the Old Farm. Oh, this is just amazingly. Hopefully these all passed. Hopefully these all passed. And then we also have the trailer Agrim. So that is on the PC side. On the PS4 and Xbox One, we have the CSZ Equipment Pack, the FarmTech TG28, the John Deere 7030 Premium Series, the John Deere 7R, the John Deere 540, which was just released, Logset 8H GTE Hybrid, 
Oakfield Farm 19 Seasons update. One handbag. ORL 450 pack. Pallets. Prezimizi Welky. SDL Group Pack. Silo Facility. Small Liquid Tank. Trailed Plow. Vertistad Rapid 300C, 400C. Vultra S Series. And that is all that's been in testing on consoles. Number I was waiting to be tested is 219. Current average waiting time, guys, is eight workdays. Okay, so that is all the news for today, guys. Wow, a lot of good mods have been sent to testing and are in testing. This is just an amazing week. Wow. Okay, today, guys, I do got planned tonight at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time is, of course, the live stream on Stone Valley. I know I was supposed to do it last night, but kind of had some storms and everything come through my area, so we're making that tonight. Uh, no Let's Play today. I'm actually thinking about starting a new Let's Play series, new Let's Play series on the Xbox One X. I know there's not many YouTubers that actually do Xbox. It's usually PS4 or PC. Let me know what you guys think about that. But like always, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a son, make sure you guys do like always. Have an all-state farmers. Peace.